This feels like Christmas every time I'm opening a box, I swear. morning you guys and welcome back to a new vlog so if you could not tell by my surroundings or by my shirt maybe let me give you guys a quick peek at the shirt it is officially july which means it is the third annual christmas in july on my channel i think right 2020 21 and 2022 yeah look at that we are literally on our third year of christmas in july and if you guys are new here or if you're not familiar with the whole christmas in july thing let me just put you on real quick so back in 2020 obviously it was a worldwide pretty shitty year with covid and many other things that that happened that year as well that did not make it my favorite year of life and I'm sure many others could agree on that. So since that year was so shitty and weird, I decided to just celebrate Christmas in July. Christmas in July is not a new thing. It's definitely been around for a long time. I've always heard people make references to it, but never actually knew anyone who celebrated it. So in 2020, I decided to put up all my Christmas decorations on July 1st and celebrate Christmas for literally no reason other than that it made me happy. So yeah. So fast forward three years, here we are with the third Christmas in July on my YouTube channel. It is something that I look forward to every year. I know a lot of my viewers look forward to it as well. So I figured, you know, this year has not been the best either for me personally. And we're kind of going through something as a country that is just horrific. And we're supposed to be celebrating Independence Day in a few days. And as a woman, we don't even have full independence anymore. Like what? Or not that we ever probably really did, honestly. But there's just so much going on and I I just kind of wanted to, again, whip out the Christmas decor, whip out my Christmas merch. It is just something that makes me happy. And we're gonna be celebrating Christmas in July this year. So if you guys are interested in joining me on this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already. I have my nice mug. I could not find the naughty mug. So we're nice today. But I'm having some tea because I have not been feeling the best. My throat is killing me. My nose is stuffy. I don't know, I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling the best. So I'm having some throat coat tea out of my nice mug. We're really just setting the vibe. So for today's vlog, we are going to be doing an unboxing of Ariana Grande's Rem Beauty Chapter 3 makeup. I did pre-film this a few days ago just because I kind of wanted to have that be the first video for Christmas in July. That is all I'm going to say for now. I just wanted to welcome you guys into Christmas in July and let you guys know that so many exciting things are happening this month. I can't even believe it. I feel like I've been waiting all year just for like the summer. I feel like the whole year was me just getting ready. I'm really looking forward to the second half of the year. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the Rem Beauty unboxing. Hey, bro, the lawnmower literally would start as soon as I start talking. <sighs> it's always something. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. And if you are new here, you should definitely subscribe. So for today's video, I am so excited to be unboxing a package for you guys. This happens to contain some of the new products from the newest launch from REM Beauty by Ariana Grande, chapter three, which is all about lips. She came out with various lip products, lip liners, liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, lip balm, lip oil, like just all kinds of stuff she came out with, which she already did have a few lip products but she's kind of expanding it and just made a whole collection about lips. Now, I won't lie, I was really, really looking forward to more skin products, such as like foundation, concealer, stuff like that. I oh, Tundi wants to come in. Hi, queen. Hi, queen baby. Oh, my baby. I love you so much. Okay. Anyway, I was kind of hoping that chapter three would have more face products like foundation, concealer, whatever. I was really looking forward to stuff like that. I am an Ariana Grande fan through and through. So literally anything she comes out with, I'm obviously gonna try. So here we are today. We're gonna be opening chapter three together and trying out some lip products. Let's get into it. We're whipping out the famous Eiffel Tower scissors as we do in every unboxing. If you guys are new here, 
what are you doing? I always just love seeing this whenever I open a package. It feels like Christmas. Okay, so we got the goods in here. Let's see what we got. I ordered four things. Apparently, usually when I shop, I black out and I don't even know what I bought. It seems like I bought kind of like mauve lip colors. And then I also got a lip oil in the color Raspberry Drip. So let's go through and I will show you guys what I got. So the first thing is a lip pencil and this is in the shade Top Line. I went with this color because I figured it was something that I'll probably wear a lot. This is what the lip liner looks like. Very simple packaging, which I like. And then it just shows the color on the end and it seems like it might be a little like twist up liner. The top looks just like a regular lip liner, nothing special. Ooh, it has a little twist at the bottom so you can twist it up or down, which is really cool. So then you don't even have to worry about sharpening it. I really like that actually. I hate sharpening lip pencils. It's just so inconvenient, especially if you're traveling and you didn't bring a sharpener. Then I got an On Your Collar classic lipstick and this is in the color Tongue Tied. Just for comparison, I'll put them next to each other. So along with the lip liner, this is another brand new product. And this is just basically a rendition of the lipstick where it's a taller component and it's a more thin lipstick. And in comparison to the original lipsticks, these are matte lipsticks and it looks like these kind of have some sort of like a gloss. So just for reference, that is the difference between the normal lipstick and the new classic lipstick. Very interesting. I won't lie, this is still my favorite packaging. I am so obsessed with the original lipsticks. I think that they are so cute, but this packaging is actually really cute as well. Also guys, look at my nails. I just got my nails done and I got like this lavender color and a little bit of a sparkly ombre as well. This color is giving me moonlight. It's giving me thank you next 2.0. It's just, it's giving me like focus music video vibes. I was obsessed with the color when I found it and I felt like it was perfect for this video. Anyway, carrying on. Then we have the On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Yum. We love that. And again, to give you a comparison to the other two, they're kind of all in the same family. The liquid lipstick and the lip liner are kind of the most similar. The classic lipstick is more of like a red tone. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, the packaging on this is cute too. It just reminds me of like a jelly gloss. And then the applicator is this like curved bigger applicator. So I'm really excited to try all of these products. Oh my goodness. Lastly, I have the lip oil and this is in the color Raspberry Drip. This is everything. The color pink is like sending me into heaven and the applicator looks quite interesting. What the heck? Oh my God, look at that. It's literal jelly. Wow, the applicator is very interesting. It has like a metal ball and then a spongy applicator all around it. I'm gonna try this right now first because I'm very, very curious about this. Hmm. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Like the ball is just so weird. It's like very cooling. That is so cute. And it's very refreshing. The oil feels very good. I feel like I'm gonna be carrying this around with me everywhere and just like putting it on to look like a lip gloss, but also it's beneficial for your lips. So yeah, that's the lip oil. I am obsessed. I definitely wanna keep this with me in my purse and just carry it around with me everywhere. Since my lips are kind of on the smaller side, I don't typically wear lip gloss. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't help my case at all. It doesn't make my lips look any bigger, but this looks so cute. I would wear this every day. I love this. I am going to wipe this off though. We're going to try the lip liner right now. See how this works. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand first. It's very creamy, very, very creamy. It goes on like butter. I love that it's a twist up. Okay, don't mind the fact that it's so messy and I didn't fill in the middle yet, but that is the lip liner. It is very pigmented. It is very creamy. I kind of wish it was like a little bit creamier because I feel like it was kind of hard to get it on certain spots, but overall cannot complain. I really, really like how that looks. I feel like you could just wear the lip liner all on its own, fill in the middle and call it a day. However, next I'm going to try the liquid lipstick. And first I'm just gonna test out the liquid lipstick on my hand. That is a gorgeous color, but I feel like it's very buildable. Like you could add multiple layers and make it more pigmented. That is very cute. I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna start off with a little bit and see how this goes. 
that is the liquid lipstick in the color Yum on my lips. It looks so true to the shade that's in the bottle, which I love. I hate when liquid lipsticks go on a different color and then you're like, what the heck? That is so off-putting. But this is literally so true to the color in the bottle, which I love. It dried super fast, which I also really like because if you're in a rush, it's perfect. The top line liner and the Yum liquid lipstick are like the perfect combo. I am so obsessed. This is one of my favorite colors to wear. Yes, this is probably more of like a fall color for most people. Like it's kind of like a darker mauve pink, but for me, this is like just my go-to color. I am obsessed. Then lastly, I'm just gonna throw the classic lipstick on top. We'll see how this looks. The applicator is so cute, but it's so little. I feel like it's gonna break. You guys probably can't tell from there, but the lipstick is just like the slightest bit lighter. It's more of like a berry color. Whereas my lipstick that I have on now is like a mauve darker color. Wow. I'm obsessed. All right, let's see if this is transfer proof. Are you ready? My hand is empty. Barely. I did two smooches and that's all that came off. So just for my, you know, people out there who are gonna be going to give a little smooch after putting on this lipstick, you don't have to worry. You won't leave much of a mark. Or I mean, unless you wanna leave a mark, then maybe load up the lipstick, girl, I don't know. Lastly, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of the lip oil over top just to kind of give it that glossy look. Ooh, whoops, came off on my white brush. I don't want that. So that is the lip oil over top. I usually prefer a matte lip, but you know what? We are stepping out of the box today. All right, you guys, well, that is it for the REM Beauty Chapter 3 lip products. I am beyond happy with the performance of these. I am not just saying that because I'm a diehard Ariana Grande fan. I know, I know, I already said she can do no wrong in my eyes, but at the end of the day, I will always be honest with you guys if there is something I do not like. I have done that before, especially with certain REM Beauty products. Specifically, I will always be honest with you guys. I am so, so, so picky about liquid lipsticks. If you look in my drawer, Literally all of them are pretty much the same kinds of colors, kinds of shades. They're all similar consistencies and stuff like that. Just because once I find one that I love, I rarely step out of my comfort zone. So it's really cool that I'm able to add these into my collection. I really am so happy with everything that I picked out. Before I go though, I need to show you guys something that I think is so cute and so sweet. We all know that Ari loves to pay homage to certain, you know, things in her life, certain loved ones, certain events. She is so personal with her makeup line or anything she does. So I stumbled upon this tweet. I'm gonna put it on the screen that showed one of her lip oils is called Pick and Petals, referring to the song The Way with Mac Miller. It just makes me so happy that in one way or another, he is always gonna be living on through certain things that she does, which is just so sweet, especially for anybody else who was a Mac Miller fan. It is really nice to see people still kind of like paying respect to him and keeping his energy alive. And it's, I don't know, it just, it made me feel really good to see that. I just thought that that was so cute and I kind of wanted to share it. And now I'm going to be running on REM Beauty to buy that lip oil because I did not even notice that at first. But yeah, that is it for this video and unboxing on REM Beauty Chapter 3. Oh my God, everything almost just fell. That is it for my unboxing of REM Beauty Chapter 3 lip products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you liked it and you want to see more from me. Before I go, this is this week's shout out of the week. Shout out to you, boo, and thank you so much for always being so sweet and so supportive. And if you guys want a chance to be a future shout out in the next video, just make sure you are following me, subscribed, commenting, and I will be choosing somebody random for next week. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.